The signal to noise ratio can be defined as the ratio of the expectation of the signal power to the expectation of the noise power. In our case, the expectation of the noise power is the expectation of the quantization error power. So last time we calculated the expectation of the quantization error power and we found out that it's equal to the step size squared divided by 12. So what we need to do now is to calculate the average or the expectation of the signal power. So how do we obtain this? Yeah. So basically we can take the same approach as we did for the expectation of the power of the quantization error, which is basically the second moment of the distribution of the quantization error. So what we need to know now is uh, from our signal is this, its probability distribution. For the quantization error, it was a uniform distribution between minus step size divided by 2 to plus step sizes divided by 2. So a very simple case now would be if we would calculate the um, expectation of the signal power for a uniformly distributed signal with amplitude A divided by 2, which has values between minus A divided by 2 up to plus A divided by 2. So this is exactly the same case as we calculated for the quantization error. And then we will just need to replace here in this equation the step size by A. Yeah? So the probability distribution of a uniformly distributed signal uh, with amplitude A divided by 2 is 1 over A. And we can use our formula for average power. So then we replace here the um, PDF of a uniformly distributed signal here. And then when we calculate the expectation for a signal power for a uniformly distributed signal with amplitude equals to A divided by 2, we have the, the resulting power is A squared divided by 12. Yeah? So uh, what kinds of signals have this property? So um, uniformly distributed random values have this property. So basically this was... Uh, like our quantization error, but um, it's important to observe that speech or music and audio has a non-uniform PDF. Yeah? They are usually modeled by a Laplacian distribution or a Gaussian mixed model, and in this case, this formula here doesn't apply to non-uniform uh, distributions. Yeah? But um, other signals that have a uniform uh, PDF is a triangular wave and a sawtooth wave, yeah, because one can imagine uh, the vertical axis, uh, the function value covered by small intervals, and each interval is then passed into the same time span, and this means that the resulting PDF is also uniform. Yeah? So for um, uniform distribution, we have that the expectation of the power is a squared divided by 12. So now we can calculate our signal to noise ratio, which was the ratio of signal power divided by the, the noise power. And then and we have here the ratio, uh, the, this is the signal power divided by the noise power. And we have that the signal to noise ratio is A squared divided by the step size squared. When we assume that our signal is full range, it means that the maximum values it goes from minus a divided by 2 to plus a divided by 2. And we can compute the step size if we know the number of bits of a converter. And then we're assuming uniform quantization. So here we have our step size is the full range divided by 2 to the power of n, uh, where n is equal to the number of bits. So if we then replace in this uh, signal to noise ratio equation, we replace the step size here we will have this equation here, and we obtain that the signal to noise ratio is two to the power of two n. Yeah. Uh, usually uh, we see signal to noise ratio in decibels, so we can convert this to decibels, and we have that the signal to noise ratio for uniformly distributed signals is n, the number of bits, times 6.02 dB. So this is a very famous rule of thumb that each bit more gives you 6 dB more in signal-to-noise ratio. Yeah? But it's important to uh, have in mind that this formula only holds for uniformly distributed full-range signal. 